Hi guys, I know this is not my usual setting, but I was actually going to bed and um, I felt called to do this video. And it's basically about a letting go, knowing when to let go and uh, how to let go. And the reason why I want to do this video is because for the past days, I have been helping a friend of mine, giving him advice on how to let go of a job that he has been working at for seven years. And uh, it's like his career field and he just stopped growing in that career. So he began to feel miserable and um, the boss kept promising him stuff, but never delivering on it. And he basically told me, Liz, what, what should I do? And I told him, you have to leave. You know, when you're stuck in a situation like that, where you're miserable, people are promising your stuff, they're not delivering on it, or you're stuck in a relationship, what you need to do, you need to think about, I was reading this book, yeah, in um, The Art of Thinking Clearly. It talked about something, it's called the sunk cost fallacy. Sunk cost fallacy basically means you don't have to look at how much time or energy you spent into something as a reason as why you should stay. You should look at what is the future of this thing. Like, it doesn't matter how much time or energy you put in if the future of it is not going to get better. If, if you have put years into that relationship and energy and whatever, but you're unhappy and you see your future in that relationship, being unhappy then there's no point in staying if the same with with the company or your work if if it's not going up there's no point in staying first thing i think what you should do is realize when you're being manipulated when a person is promising you stuff and never delivering on it you are being manipulated if someone is telling you even if a boss is telling you yeah you will get this position if you do this then you do that thing and you still don't get that position that's manipulation because it, like they're promising you stuff but they're never delivering on it you know same way in a relationship they're promising you to change they're promising you that they'll do better or whatever it won't happen again but then it does manipulation they're just saying anything to make you stay. If, if the words don't match the actions, you leave. You guys need to stop believing people on words. People are full of bullshit, okay? Let's be honest here. Like, it's so easy to lie. Why would not everyone lie? You know, if I wanted to keep a girl, but I know I, I like I'm not serious with her, but I can just sleep around with her. I would also lie to her to make her stay. You know, why not? If I can, why not? You know, most most people don't feel bad when they do that. And you need to realize that not everyone has a good heart or morals or, or feel feels bad about this stuff. No, most people don't. And you guys need to start realizing that the world is really harsh. When the words do not match the actions. See, I had so many people in my life screaming to me, Liz, I love you, I love you. But then they would do stuff to me that was so shitty that I would think like, how is this love? You know? And then you have me, I'm verbally, I don't say that much like, oh, I love you. But I will always show with my actions that I respect you, I love you, and I'm loyal to you. Like my actions will always show. I don't talk, I show you. And that's how you have to look at people. Look at your boss. Is Are they just talking or are they actually giving me what I want and what they promised me? Look at your relationship the same way. The other thing is what they can easily get will never be valued, okay? And also if you're easy, like if you're loyal to a company that is literally not giving you what you want, but promising, making false promises, also they will not value you because see with my friend the issue was what his boss did is he promised 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 never delivered but the boss knew the guy would never leave he's so loyal to this company he knew he would not leave so he knew this behavior could go on for years and years without him really doing anything you know and they would even say like oh no he will never leave doesn't matter whatever that's how these people start to disrespect you start to value yourself you know Start to value what you want and what you think that you deserve. Relationships don't get too easily with people. Make them literally work for you. Make people prove, especially if you're going into a relationship with a man, make that man prove to you that he's worthy of being with you. Because in this day and age, and I truly believe this is the issue with most relationships these days, is because we, we've created this whole thing of like, oh no, uh, they don't have to do anything anymore. Everything's equal, this and that. 
So then you have men that don't want to show up and be men anymore. They're just like, oh, okay, whatever. I, I don't have to do anything. So they're not going to do anything. And even worse, they want to take from the woman now. Yes, I do believe in equality. I do believe a man and a woman should be equal. And, and I'm happy if that's the way it is. But at the end of the day, if, if you like make it so easy for a man to get with you and he doesn't have to do anything at all and he can still be in a relationship with you, they will abuse that power they will abuse that power and that is not an that's not equality you know because again they're more powerful over you because you're giving yourself away for nothing this person doesn't even appreciate you respect you doesn't do anything for you and you're just giving yourself you're giving your time value yourself making someone uh, literally prove to you that they're a good person with their actions is valuing yourself that is self-respect there's just nothing worse than wasted time wasted time on people don't waste your time your your time is valuable you guys like literally i've heard so many older people say time flies like this today you're 20 years old tomorrow you're 80 and it flies like this don't waste your time on dumb people don't waste your time on dumb people don't put your energy into people that promise you stuff don't deliver. Don't go to people that don't respect you or are toxic because you're lonely and you don't have anyone. So I'll just stay with them. But then you end up being miserable. Again, they're taking away from you. They're taking away from your years and you end up feeling bad about yourself. You end up feeling insecure and thinking that you cannot do anything better. Those kind of bosses, those kind of uh, relationship people, what they will do is they will make it seem like you are, this is the only good thing you will ever get. Like you cannot get any better than this. And that is just such like, that's one of the things they do with their manipulation. Yeah. They have to make you feel like you cannot get, do anything better. So that toxic partner will make you feel like you cannot get anyone better than him or anyone that treats you with decency and respect. They will make you actually believe that. Or your job, they will make you believe that, oh, you cannot get anywhere better. You will not be paid better. You will not get the same uh, respect or position, whatever. That's such bullshit. Like, stop listening to these people. It's not true. It's not true. In order to control you, they have to make you feel this small. But you have the power to take, you, to take that back and be like, no, you know what? I deserve much better and I'm capable of much better. And yes, I can get much better than you. And you can. There's literally billions of people in this world and you think this one douchebag is your only option? Please. There's literally so many companies. You can start your own company. There's so many options in this world. Money is only an energy. If you start to understand money in an energetic way, you also start to realize it doesn't have to be this hard. These toxic people constantly benefit from putting you down and making you feel this small, but like stop, it has to stop. And the only power you have right now is to take your own power back. You gave away your power to those people. Those people are not powerful without your energy that you gave to them. That company is nothing without you. That company needs you. You don't need them. That toxic person needs you. You don't need them. You think anyone wants to be with someone that treats them like shit? Nobody wants to do that. So when they're telling you, you can't do anything better, they're actually projecting onto you. They can't do anything better. That company cannot find a better employee than you. That partner cannot find a better partner than you because you're the only one that wants to put up with their stuff. Nobody else wants to do that. So whether it's a company, whether it's a relationship, that thing, whatever it is, should always add to your life and not take away from it. For example, the my friend that works for the company he completely doesn't have any time anymore uh, for his friends or family constantly working constantly working became miserable uh, his relationships are failing um so and he doesn't even make enough money to make up for that you know so it's like his relationships are completely failing and the company's taking away from his relationship his personal life it shouldn't do that if you're doing a job, that job should add. You should make your money and, and you should like, you should still have your life. You should still have, be able to keep your relationships. And the same way, you know, I'm gonna say one thing. You have a partner and you have a good family that cares about you. 
and your family says that this guy is not good for you or this girl is not good for you and they can see it and and you actually also know there's kind of red flags but you still choose that partner over your family and you lose your family because you chose that partner that's a dumb decision i'm gonna say it here that's a dumb decision if you have a good family, I'm not talking about toxic families. If you have a family that actually cares about you, once that toxic person that got you away from your family knows that you don't have anyone anymore and you're not communicating with your family anymore, you're done. You're done. You're literally like caged for them because they have all control now. Every time you want to leave, they'll, they'll say, where do you want to go? You don't have anyone. They, they literally feed off of this. You cannot catch me go against literally the people that I love because of a man. Honestly, truly. I literally had friends, co-workers, people that I used to know tell me that they did this when, when they had a good family. And they said it was the worst decision of my life. The person became abusive. The person literally did anything and everything to me. And um, yeah, at the end of the day, they felt isolated, so much trauma coming out of it because you're not talking to anyone anymore. You don't have anyone to go to now. You only have this one toxic person and you're isolated with them. With them. Yeah, sometimes people around you that love you, you might feel like, oh, they're going against me. They don't know what they're talking about, whatever. Sometimes they know better. Believe me, trust me. I have seen it with my own eyes, not with one case. I've seen multiple cases like this. Sometimes your loved ones know better. I realize that it's okay to change your mind. You don't have to do things like one way or just because you studied this and you're in this, in this company and you did this job, but you don't feel good there and you want to do something else. It's okay to do something else, you know? It's never too late to change direction. You will anyways go where you're meant to go or where your intuition leads you. You will get there. But maybe it's not a straight line. Maybe you have to go like this or try different things to, in order for you to just feel like, oh, this is what I want to do. I was watching this interview from Tony Robbins and Tony Robbins was basically talking about uh, humans get unhappy and depressed when they stop progressing in life. Progression is literally what makes us happy. That's why even if you look at people that are at the top, they have millions and millions. They, they, you, you might look at them and see, whoa, oh my God, they accomplished everything, but they're miserable. Why do you think that is? They stopped progressing in life. They don't have that drive anymore because they have everything. So we constantly need to find that thing that drives us, need to find that thing that makes us want, want to evolve. And when you feel like it's not okay to change your mind or you have to stay this way because this is what you've been taught and whatever, you'll become miserable at the end of the day because you know that this is not what you want. And second of all, you feel like you're not progressing because this is not even what you want to begin with. You don't even want to progress in this thing. So you're stuck and you will really become miserable start thinking about okay maybe this was not what i wanted i tried this but this is not what i want this relationship i tried it but this was not what i want i want something else it's okay to change your mind it's okay we are here on earth to constantly evolve when you stop evolving that's when you stop living so once you made that decision for yourself that you have to let go you plan your exit okay if you're in that company and you want to leave, what you do is you search for another job in another company, or maybe you're like, okay, I don't want to work for now. I'm going to take off and travel or whatever, or I'm going to do whatever. You can also do that, uh, whatever you want to do, but plan your exit, plan your exit. In a relationship, if, if this is really not what you want, okay, you start thinking about how can I get out of this relationship? Do you need financial? Do you need money? Um, whatever you need, uh, maybe you can uh, find family members, friends, anyone that can help you to get out, plan your exit. You do not stay where respect is not served. You do not stay where you're manipulated. You do not stay where you're miserable. Once you have let go and you close that door, you do not open that door again. And why am I saying this? Listen, I used to constantly, when I was, uh, I had an ex, me and my ex were good friends, but um, he would constantly, like he would take care of me financially when I was really, really broke and I really needed him. But I didn't like the relationship anymore and there was no love and I wanted to leave. I, I constantly would like ask God, like, please give me someone that I love, that they can care of me 
Um, but that would never happen. And I would constantly be stuck with this partner. So what happened is I literally in a moment where I was my brokest, I was like, you know what? I have to let go of my ex. Otherwise the person that is meant for me can never come in. So what I did is I was like, okay, I'm just gonna let go of him. I don't care that I literally have no money, you know, without him. So then I let him go. And then literally like uh, a year later, I met my partner now and he's literally what I've wanted and what I've pray prayed for. So in order for that manifestation to come in that you want about maybe the partner or, or the job that you want, you need to let go of the thing that's not serving you. If the thing right now is not what you want, but you just hold on to it because it's comfortable, you have to have faith and let go. Because I really, really believe, if you don't believe in God, believe in yourself. If, if, if whether it's the universe, something else, I don't know. I really believe God has a bigger plan. Really, honestly. I, I believe God has a bigger plan. And I think the things we ask for are just pathetic. And he has like such a big plan and we can have like huge, huge stuff, but we, we, we don't think that we can have it. So we never attract it. And this is what I told my friend as well. I'm like, you have to show God that you trust him. You know, you, ha you don't have to be afraid to let go of this toxic uh, job that you have right now and uh, be like, oh no, if, if I don't let this go, I will not have something else. You will, because God always provides. You will always have, always. But you have to have some faith. And if you don't believe in God, believe in yourself. You will provide for yourself. You will. You got yourself out of so many bad situations. Did you not? Like we literally went through so much and we're still standing. We're still doing our stuff. Doing like uh, trying to get better and trying to evolve. So you're still here. Are you not? Why do you not believe in yourself then? Why do you not think you can get better? Every time you thought that this was the end and, and like you would never get out of this, you got out of it, didn't you? Why do you think that this time you're going to fail yourself? You're not. Trust me, trust me. Once you let go, once I had let go of all the shitty friends that I had, all like my partner that there was no love anymore. Once I let all of that go, I, I promise you everything I ever wanted came in. And there is no person that has left my life that I miss. Truly, truly, I'm sorry. And there is no person that I would take back from, from my previous life, like in this, like in this new reality that I'm living. No, I'm sorry. I'm literally not. But once all that, that like unwanted is gone, your true purpose starts to show. You start to see what is meant for you. And, and literally miracles start to happen because you had faith, you had faith in yourself, you had faith in God, and you were not afraid to take risks. Sometimes in life, you need to get uncomfortable. See, when you're jumping from your uh, present reality to the new one that you want, in the beginning, it might be a little chaotic, like it's not gonna be amazing from the get-go, you know, and you have to accept that, but that's okay, you know, you've survived much worse, much worse. This time when you're going into this, you actually have a plan and you have wisdom that you didn't have before. So this time around, it will be different. I promise you, it will be different. And don't also think like, oh no, it's too late. Like my age, this and that, whatever. No, people have done incredible things at 60, at 70. They've accomplished only, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Your age doesn't matter. See, age is just a number. We are a soul, you know, it's, it's all about our soul. You guys have to realize that our souls are here on earth to evolve, literally, and to learn constantly. We have to learn. Once we stop learning and evolving, we stop living. So in order for you to do that, you constantly have to experience new things. You have to create those experiences for yourself and you don't have to be scared to do that. Fear stops everything. Instead of fear, have faith. Have faith in yourself. If you believe in God, have faith in God. Have faith in the universe. Everything will work out for you at the end. But don't do a dishonor to yourself by staying where you're not welcome. Anyways, guys, I love you guys so much. I'm so sorry you're looking like this because I know a lot of people don't like it uh, when I am not dressed up. But honestly, I just really wanted to share this message with you guys because I felt like I felt some of you need it. Um, so yeah, I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.